this is the Jacksonville Local Radio Podcast. Uh, I am Kit Calgon. This is uh, Jessica Lee Walton. She performed tonight earlier at the Shark Club on the second floor of Park Avenue Billiards. Hello. Hey. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's so much fun. Uh, so, are you from here? Where are you from? Yeah, born and raised in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. And it's your first time performing out here? Yeah, it is. It part- yeah, Park Avenue, absolutely. And uh, I know that you performed in like a bunch of different settings, everything yeah. from bars to clubs to churches to house parties. Does your your approach to performing your live set, does that, do you switch up your approach depending on the particular venue that you're playing at? I think um, so. I think so. I think when you, the, the first assessment for me is always the audience. Yeah. How many are there? Um, who is there, yeah. and also um, maybe the setup itself. So it, it allows me to, yeah, to kind of interpret what I'm going to do next. Now, how would you assess the audience tonight? This is a very unique crowd. Yeah, like, yeah. there's a lot of musicians in the crowd. Like, as a non-musician, just as a fan, it's fun being at a show like this where, like, musicians are playing, but so much of the crowd is yeah. other musicians. Yeah. I think it's great. I think they, I think what it what it does is allows for opportunity to see where people can network with each other, where they can build upon each other. So you see people's strengths, and you like maybe you can envision, hey, you know, like uh, I can see where we can work well together, or you can just go, damn, what you're doing is so good, and it's very honest. You know, I think the sincerity and the appreciation is there. If you're a working musician. The issues that you have is not being able to see enough other acts. So being able to do something like this allows for people to actually appreciate other musicians, you know? So, yeah. I know, I know you've worked closely with uh, Jason with the uh, Jackson Radio, uh, local radio podcast. Yeah, Jamie. 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 We've had drinks I, tonight. Jamie. <laughs> I've said Jason 20 times. And it's I mean Jamie to say Jamie. Jackson. Yes. Yes. Jamie Jackson. Jackson. Jamie Jackson. Yes. <laughs> Younger brother of Tito. <laughs> but yes. Uh, but tell me about the. My, tell me from a musician standpoint. Okay. Tell me about like your experiences working with him and overall about what his podcast, uh, this podcast, yeah, your podcast, yeah, which I'm our podcast, right now. you and her and me and Jamie and Jesus. He's always present, always Ever present, always, yeah. He Don't just try. hit a bullseye on the dartboard there. But tell me about what what he's done for the local musician community. Okay, so the beauty of Jamie Jackson, and I really hope more musicians, or I hope I hope musicians will share this. Okay, that's your homework. Um, if you know of somebody who's actually like fostering talent, wants to put you out there free, and is their, their whole thing is they are wanting you to look good because it makes what they're doing look good, which is creating the podcast, creating the outlet, getting more subscribers, getting more you know influence. Yeah. That's their thing. But our thing as artists is we want to have more you know opportunities for exposure. So it works well and well. The thing about Jamie Jackson that sets him apart from others is that his hospitality is exponential. I think he is so careful about making people feel comfortable in his presence and making sure the sound quality is good and everything that you're looking for as a musician, Jamie Jackson takes care of. He just does. Yeah. But he is num- easily number one among all the Jamie Jacksons that I know. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's yeah, like you said, you mentioned Tito. I would put yeah. him up there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like... Why isn't Sally Struthers given more like attention? I, you know, I think she's doing her thing very well with like, what is it, Bona Beats, whatever. Yeah, I mean, Bona, she's, yeah. she's doing great. Somebody, I, she's doing great. I never cared about Africa until she started doing those commercials. Shit. Okay. You know? You just, yeah, you just caught me like, boom, I'm 
Paul. Sure. She's doing great, yes. Wow. Absolutely. You know, this is a this is a beautiful this is a beautiful time in the world. It's a beautiful time in America. Like all the old like boundaries are gone politically, musically, with social media and streaming media, the artist can engage the audience directly. There are no more filters, there are no more boundaries. And I know that wherever you are watching this, uh, listening to this, uh, Ivanka, etc., you know that people are doing stuff that would never have been possible before. No one would have cared about it before. Yeah. Like, of course, the stuff she's doing and these other artists are doing, that would have been money no matter what. But people are able to just reach out and engage the audience directly. Yeah. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Yeah. This. Um, and, and, okay, so there was this guy who was here tonight. He had an instrument that I had, I had never seen before. And it was basically like a half-scale bass. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I interviewed him. It there. was so cool. Okay. He was part of uh, uh, Clint England, you know, underdog. Yes. Yes. So I asked him about his base. He had found it off the Amazon. He got it off the Amazon. Okay. The opportunity number one for me to even see that base is probably not so much here in Jacksonville. Yeah. The opportunity for someone to have that base and to be playing it and for me to realize, like, Oh, I can play the bass. I could play that. It was made by a yeah. ukulele maker in yeah. Hawaii. How freaking cool is that? So yeah. then finding someone else who's wanting to do like lead harmonica. Okay, yeah. the guy doesn't lead want to harmonica. just, he does not. Not rhythm harmonica. No, no, because that would include like, uh, or that would include like, um, what do you do, scales and, yeah. and, um, and chords. No chords, no scales. This yeah. guy is actually doing like, no by no, yeah. you know, melodies yeah. with his harmonica. It's and you know, as a non-musician, yeah. like, well, I don't say a non-musician, but someone who doesn't play music professionally, professionally. You know, but I'm a fan of music, yeah. I write about music. This whole evening has been fun for me because I've learned a lot about equipment and process yeah. and motivation. The guy with the bass that you're talking about, he was, they were setting up on stage yeah. when I was uh, doing my introduction yeah. up there. And, you know, the, I've never had this phrase come out of my mouth before. And and I I said to him, like, oh, that's beautiful. What kind of wood is that? <laughs> you know? And, of course, when you say that to someone, that's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> and one thing I love about this whole thing and about what Jamie's doing with the Jackson Radio yeah. podcast is everyone here, like no one left early. No. All the musicians stuck around to listen to everybody yeah, else. Yeah. And everyone's traded contact information yeah. with each other. So it's like that beginning of a whole a whole bunch of people that had never met each other before. It's becoming like it's become the creation of like a whole like circle of people. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. And for me as someone that comes in that number one is not a musician and number two didn't know anybody yeah. in the building other than you yeah. before I walked in here, like it's been like so much fun and really fascinating to watch how that process yeah. goes. Now um, tell me uh, how can people find more of a uh, how can people like like access more of your work besides Whitney Leeds? And, and what shows do you have like coming up in the future? Okay, so um, I have a very cool thing happening on the 24th. Hail with... Hillary. I have a very cool thing happening. Yes, I have a very cool thing happening on the 24th with um, Casa Divina. Casa Divino in St. Augustine. Yes. Folio Weekly is doing a really cool singer songwriters, uh, you know, showcase in St. Augustine, and I'm one of. I like Folio. They do good stuff. They are amazing. Mm -hmm. They're essential to so many artists. Fun fact. At age 15, when I started learning how to play guitar, and I was like looking for open mics and stuff because I was wanting to play, mm -hmm. I grabbed the folio and I looked up every single open mic I could, and I said, "That's where I want to go next. That's where I want to go next." So that was my first intro, and then it just bloomed from there. Yeah. And then there were several other 
articles that caught my attention. But that was they're musicians' friends for sure. And and for anybody who wants to go see music, um, but continuing on to uh, you know other things, I'm also on Jack's uh, local radio show YouTube. You can find me there. Um, what have, is that? Yeah. What is go what's that to thing? YouTube. Jack's is that a thing? local is that a... radio show. Hashtag it too. Jack's local radio show to find out what's going on and mm -hmm. who's playing with it. Um, but yeah, so when I went to Jamie Jackson's studio, which mm -hmm. happens to be his house too, yeah. it is the whole house is set up for hospitality for people who are going to perform on his show. Monkey okay. bars across like the whole ceiling. Absolutely. I mean, it's just frivolities for days. Yeah, I mean, complete chaos. Mm -hmm. It's it's yeah. Undocumented. Tapas for Undocumented. days. <laughs> so um, Jamie had it where it he recorded in I you know in his space. He actually um, did some of the you know really tight production work, and I brought in a, a lead guitarist, and we bounced um, you know some stuff off of each other, and and um, it was really cool. We had psychedelic uh, you know background and. Mm -hmm. Lots of interesting ideas, and at that point in time, I realized like that this was the heart. This is his pulse. Jamie Jackson has the pulse for highlighting musicians and talent here in Jacksonville, and and that is what his platform is. So, you know, great, lovely. And yeah. to close out, since we are uh, double beyond the time limit, oh. not that it matters. Sorry. No, that's like. It's, uh, it's not like we're using Super 8 film or something. But uh, That's a good movie. i like you to send a special message out to uh, the people that are watching this video 100 years from now. Okay. My offspring are crazy right now. They will do wonderful things, and they will bless the entire universe just like you should. I would highly encourage you to look into what you can do to make yourself a better person. And that includes sometimes exercising the principle of saying no to things that aren't good for you, embracing what is, and balancing the rest with love and compassion to all you encounter. And I think, yeah. Speaking of uh, embracing what is, like after this is done, like I gotta tell you about the Roger Stone trial. Coming up next. Yes. Speak, yes. This is uh, Jack's Local Radio Podcast. This is Jessica Lee Walton. I am Sheldon Hall, a.k.a. Kid Calgon, a.k.a. Lord of the Backpackers. See you soon. If you'd like to help support the show promoting local talent, please cash app us at Money Signs Jack's Local Radio Show. Mm -hmm.